If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is A Call for an Uprising. This is A Call for an Uprising. Welcome to today's show. This is a very important video. I know I might say that a lot lately, but you're definitely going to want to see this and play a game with me called Connect the Dots. I'll throw it over to Hollywood Creeper, Pee Wee Herman. Connect the Dots. La 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 la. Connect the Dots. La 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 la. la. <laughs> hey. That's, yeah. <laughs> Hollywood's favorite creep, Pee Wee Herman. Thank you for the Connected Dots song. I wanted to put that in there. So, well, anyhow, go, right? Look, we all know an event that occurred very recently. Concerts are cool, right? People love going to concerts. For many, many years, I've talked about the dangers of music. With witchcraft, I've shared things. I've showed things. Uh, Obviously, a lot of you heard John Todd's testimony about witchcraft and music and spellbinding. I've talked about backmasking. And I'm going to show you two things here. I'm going to start with a really cool science experiment that somebody recently did. Because I've been following all of this stuff with this really neat scientific compound known as graphene or graphene oxide. I've been following it because science is so cool. I want to show you now the effects that graphene and what it does with music. Crazy, right? It dances around, it moves. Now, why is that, you ask? Well, this is another episode of A Call for a Science Guy. It does because of the radio frequencies, the magnetic field. And I'm going to show you a very important clip. Now, the clip I'm going to show you features in the beginning, very important part by XXX uh, Tentation. I forget how, how to even say his name at this point. I covered him many times. I believe he's somebody who has perished, but he makes a very good point talking about music, frequencies, and controlling the mind. Now, you just saw how graphene can react to music. Now, start piecing things together about large crowds at venues and music being used at loud frequencies. I do want to put a disclaimer in that David Icke is in this video, and I would have edited him out because I... Don't support David Icke. I never have. I don't really support some of the stuff he said in regards to claiming to be, uh, well, our king. So I can't support anyone who says something like that. However, everybody knows that a lot of these guys still give some truce out. This video that somebody put together is the best that I've seen as far as radio frequency goes and understanding the mind. And he is featured in the video. So I just want to put a disclaimer in there that I'm not supporting... Uh, him. I'm not saying go to his channel or anything like that or buy his books, but he is in the video. So listen to this and focus on what it says. Focus on the messaging with radio frequencies and your mind, because every one of you has listened to music, likely still listen to music, and you need to understand what they can do using frequencies. Music is frequency program. Music is frequency what fre- frequency are you being fed? If I play with those frequencies, right, I can target certain parts of the mind, target the frequency to go to certain parts of the mind, and I can literally, if I want you to ask to project, or if I want you to go to sleep, or if I want you to go into a meditative state, I can make my music do that. The brain processes information electrically. It communicates with the cellular structure electrically and it operates within a certain band of frequency. If you can broadcast 
frequencies carrying information, this, this technology has long been known, carrying information and perceptions within the frequency that, that the brain decodes information, the brain will decode those frequencies and will have those perceptions. You can externally influence people's perceptions externally by broadcasting these frequencies that, that we interact with because we are antenna. The sad reality is that where we now play our music is in A440. Where did that come from? It used to be 417. A440 came in with the Roman Catholic Church. They suppressed the frequencies. They lost somehow the 152 of the best Gregorian chants, including the hymn to St. John the Baptist, which we've now recovered. That that particular hymn was what triggered Dr. Paleo's investigation, looking for those frequencies of vibration by which the music was played. It was known as the most uplifting hymn of the, all the ages, the most spiritually uplifting hymn. Hymn to St. John the Baptist. It was played to six tones. These are those six tones. These are those six frequencies. And so the A440 is what now is the standard tuning. If you go A439, you're closer to one of the Creator's tones. If you go A441, you're closer to one of the Creator's original tones. That's how precisely it has been manipulated. To do what? To shut down the 95% of your brain, particularly the right brain that operates the heart-mind for the divine human community. Some decades ago, there was a guy who worked out the frequencies of different emotional states. This is long ago. I mean, it's very, very sophisticated now. So every thought, every emotional response is a frequency. It, it generates a frequency and it is of, of itself a frequency. Hate is a frequency and it's different to love. You know, when you are in a, in a room and there's lots of aggression and conflict and hatred, you feel it. What do people say? Oh God, you can cut the atmosphere with a knife in there. That is because the frequencies of hate and conflict have been so generated, they have changed the electromagnetic field of the room. When you go driving your car and your channel on the radio is tuned to a station and you're grooving to the music, you love that music. As you get farther and farther away from the broadcasting tower, that music gets static. You start to lose the signal from the clear channel, broadcast, and it gets staticky. When it gets staticky, you get a little annoyed. But you want to listen to it. You really have a heart for that music, so you continue to listen to it for another 10, 15 miles, and suddenly it becomes so annoying that you just get disgusted, you go, ah, and you shut it off. And if you continue to listen to it, you get sick. That's what we're talking about here. Except you don't even know that you've been listening to the static your whole life. You don't even know what the true resonant frequency is because it has been kept from you. Now, of course, to really be effective, we need to use the proper words and phrases, scientifically selected. But that gives you the basic idea. We embed messages just below the threshold of perception so they can go directly into the subconscious they can play across a community these frequencies without anyone knowing and it starts to have an effect and it starts to build, build rage, it starts to build anger and people might not realize why they're feeling it but they start feeling and then what they do is they, they trigger that with an event maybe a, you know some guy is attacked by the police or something or somebody's a, arrested for something they didn't commit and now the, there's the trigger the blue touch paper's been lit of this manufactured frequency-driven rage, and you have mass riots and what have you, and people do things that they wouldn't normally do. So in other words, the master composer, master conductor of the Universal Orchestra is singing love songs in 528, uplifting everything simultaneously. And we're the only species out of tune and accepting static 
for the clear challenge. Do you know that the American military, they've admitted this. They have technology that fires frequencies at the enemy that basically breaks the enemy's spirit. So they, they, they give up and um, put their weapons down. This is the technology we're dealing with. And so of course people will call that a conspiracy, but you know, if it was taught to you by Bill Nye or taught to you in school, then everybody would say that's the way that the world is and we all work on you know, frequencies and the mind can be controlled through frequencies. Well, they don't want you to think that that stuff exists. Unfortunately for them, a lot of people are waking up to mind control and that's not even through radio frequencies. That's not even through that. That is just through basic social, social engineering that we see every day from CNN to YouTube, everywhere, to seeing the behavior of human beings, how they act in certain communities, the disgusting, despicable behavior, people who don't even act like human beings anymore. That's through social engineering, placing characters in TV shows, things like that, engineering their minds. Well, frequencies are used as well. Just the naive don't want to believe that frequencies are used. They don't want to believe that the government would ever use frequencies on them. They don't want to believe that music is a bad thing. These are all things that they love and they cherish, and they'd rather not be on this earth if those things don't exist for them because they love the things of this world. We don't love the things of this world. So keep in mind what I showed you earlier with the graphene, right? And piece things together. Connect the dots. Graphene, a compound that reacts to music that way. We all know where graphene can be found, of course, and that's on graphite. <laughs> Wink. And then seeing the frequencies of music. And if you go deeper into it and you study it more about music and frequencies, the louder that it is, the stronger the frequency is that comes out, the stronger the vibration that comes out. These are things that people don't learn in school, but things that you can use to connect the dots of what they're trying to do. And then you could go and drive around your town and look up at that, those really cool towers that are in all the towns too and realize what those can be used to do as well and used for. So this was a bit, very difficult video for me to do because it's hard to word around this stuff because that's how bad they don't want people to know. I was going to make it exclusive on my website at callforanuprising.com, but I felt the need to share it here on YouTube, even though it could be the risk risking something happening to the channel. I have another channel. Please make sure you subscribe to that channel. Please understand what is trying to be done now using this thing. Remember we always talked about the silent war that's going on. Those are the first videos that I, I used to do. I used to talk about the silent war, the war you can't see going on in front of your face. See, everybody sees the stuff going on now, the left versus the right, the stuff, uh, the rumors of wars with other countries. The silent war has been waged on the people, and these are the types of weapons that are used. Not just bio weapons, not just geoengineering, frequencies, mind control. And this isn't anything new. This has been going on for a long time. And this is why musicians always expose themselves as what they really are. In the occult, witches, Satanists, no surprise, right? We know music is used as a form of witchcraft and spellbinding, like I said earlier, and backmasking and those things. Well, these are other things that are done using music, frequencies, radio waves, your mind. And of course, that wonderful compound, graphene, which I don't know where you could find it, but uh, you probably don't have to look far up your, up your road. So I hope you guys were able to connect the dots. I hope this video helps in some way. Share it with people. If they don't understand what I'm saying, just enlighten them and tell them why I can't say it directly so they understand. I think it be, should be pretty easy for people to connect the dots, though. I thank you guys for listening to today's show. I appreciate all of you greatly. God bless you and your families.